Hi, my name's Ben Welsh, and I'm coming to you from the Los Angeles Times newsroom. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the Git version control software on a Mac OS X computer. Git is a terminal application that allows you to log changes to files, track them over time, and collaborate easier with other people working on the same files. It also integrates into powerful websites like github.com. Now, if you have an OS X computer, Git is probably already installed, whether you know it or not. So our first step is to check on that. All right, so you're going to take your mouse and move to the upper right-hand corner. There, click on the magnifying glass and type in Terminal. Terminal is the built-in command prompt program on your computer that lets you issue commands directly to the operating system. Select that program and double-click it to open it. Once the, the terminal has opened, we're going to type our first command, G-I-T, get, git, which is the name of the program, space, dash, dash, version. This asks the, the operating system to print the version of git that's currently installed. I hit enter, and what comes back is git version 2.10.1. That's the version that came installed on my computer. If you see something similar to that, that means that Git is installed and ready to go. If you don't, if instead you see an error or something kind of uh, ugly that doesn't look so good, that probably suggests that Git is not installed on your computer and that OS X could not find it to run. Don't worry, we can just go ahead and install it. The way we'll do that is we're going to go to the website here in my notepad. It's git, G-I-T, hyphen, scm.com git hyphen scm.com I already have it open in my Google Chrome browser you should open it yourself if you need to and then you should look for this link right here which will be a download button that will give you the latest version of git to put on your computer if like me you have a very recent version like 2.10 you shouldn't worry you should be fine with the version you have but if you don't have one at all you'll need to download it here and then run the installer when it comes down just like you would install any other program. Once you've done that, you're going to want to check that gets there. But you'll need to close your terminal for it to show up. You'll need to quit out and then reopen it, just as I'm doing. The terminal will take a moment to boot, but in this process, it will be ready to detect new programs. Now again, you will type GIT dash dash version. And you should now see something like I see except maybe you'll see that newer version. Now, whether or not you have installed Git now or had it already, everyone is going to need to configure it so that Git knows who you are, and when you log your commits, they're tagged to you. There's two commands that'll do that that are at the bottom of my notepad, and we're going to type them in together now. They both begin with git config, which is the command for configuring Git. They're followed by a space, so it's git space config space, then two dashes in the word global, because we're going to make global settings for Git no matter where you use it. Another space. Now, the name of the setting, which in this case is user.email. Another space. A quote. And then you should type in your email. I'm going to type in mine. Then another quote at the end. And press enter. Nothing should happen. That's good. That means the setting connected. All right? So now let's do it a second time. Git config space dash dash global the same as before but now a different setting this time user dot name space a quote and that other setting where you should type your name I'm going to type mine a second quote and then enter again no error which means no typos if you get an error you probably just have a little character wrong go back and make sure you got everything just right and uh, and keep hitting enter until it connects and nothing happens once you've done that you've succeeded and you have Git installed. Congratulations.